You guys welcome uh, Tony Ramey and Helene Cronin. Yeah. Woo! Do we go? Do we start? Yeah, well, that's what we're here for. Yes. <laughs> this is the official start of the show. All right, Helene, this is going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Trust me, it's going to be fun. Uh, why don't you start us? Because ladies should go first. I, mean, I would feel bad about See, that's why I look so good. I'm on my side early. <laughs> He brought his own fan club. Um, no, that's awesome. It's so great to be here with y'all again. I was just here for the first time about 12 days ago, and it was one of the most... No kidding? Yeah, first time. Wow, that's... And well, that's it was great. one of the sweetest experiences. And just yeah. love, love the vibe out here and the people. And thank you, Helen and Randy, yeah. for having us. Anyway, I'm going to kick it off with... Um, I grew up... Um, well, I think I talked about last time how I was actually born in New York, born on Long Island. But we got here as fast as we could, so um, <laughs> I grew up over in the Casa Linda area, where uh, driving into into this neighborhood, it kind of reminded me of a little bit of my neighborhood. The garages are detached, and the fences are chain link, unlike Plano, where everybody's got their privacy fence. And I like to say the right side of the railroad tracks was about a block away. <laughs> <laughs> a song about that house. One bare light bulb hanging from the rafters. The smell of motor oil, sawdust and sweat. Hot rod engines, hammers and wrenches. Old spare parts, spare time well spent. But at six o'clock, not a minute after that supper's ready call coming through the back door screen. A baby crying, a sizzle of something frying. And grandma's trying if we had some company.
Johnson. Hey man, this is a good pairing because she's got this lovely, this beautiful, smooth voice and I've got this, this terrible granite in my throat that I can't get out. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Now y'all know this one, right? i got to get warmed up. So I, I was, for years, I was hated amongst the music row engineers in Nashville because uh, when I went in and sang uh, the high notes, like, ah, I would have like three or four, yeah, at least two or three. Sometimes when I was really tired, I'd have like four people singing with me. And uh, they didn't realize it was my skin, <laughs> schizophrenic personality coming out of my vocals. So anyway, I would be I would be in the in the studio singing and the in the cans, you know, and uh, the engineers would be I couldn't hear what they're saying, but they'd be going like, "Who else is singing?" You know, and they would be telling the people in the on the couch in the shut lobby, up. "Shut up! Would you all, if you all sing in harmony, you all be quiet because I can't hear anything." You know. So they finally figured out, you know, and so I would finally come in and they'd be like, "Man, there is something going on here." I'm trying to get these bugs out. I said, man, good luck with that. <laughs> that's years of smoky bars and too much shiner box. You know. So uh, again that made it happen. The I'll be mean, like any time I go up above, that you know, is bizarre. It's Isn't that weird. Wild. Yeah, I, I wish I had that. A lot of people would like that. But yeah. I don't yeah. know. It just causes me all kinds of pain. No, I think it's awesome. Oh, it's great. It's great. I don't think anybody's complaining. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just not appreciate y'all. What? Oh, he's our little freak He's show. up for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be great at one of those little circuses, <laughs> wouldn't I? They'd open up the curtain, I'd go, ah! would <laughs> be like, the first guy to have five voices, voices, you know. Yeah. This movie split personalities with this, you know, 
and that's probably what most people think when most people think of it you know it's crazed yeah you know. <laughs> but i don't know well i'm gonna be listening for that okay. all right so i can't i can't do a quiet song now after that song. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you I want will, to will, really. yeah I'll just I'll just ramp it up a little bit. I think I picked too many it, quiet it's okay. songs it's, at the Helene, bottom. it's always okay to change stations. I am. Okay. <laughs> Changing stations right here, right now. Um, the first song I wrote with my friend Scott Sean White, I, I usually talk about my co-writers, or at least introduce them to y'all. Um, this one I wrote with my friend Mick Holland, who lives in Nashville. You're holding your hand grenade again You've already pulled the pin But you won't throw it No, you won't throw it and What are you waiting on? You're as good as gone I already know it I already know it So don't hold back Say the words Tell the truth It's been a little bit since I've done this. Now, I would like to start with a disclaimer, if you don't mind. <laughs> Anyone in here, any ladies with a bar bar tattoo, I'm perfectly, I'm not talking about you. Okay? Let me see if I can read this. Now, y'all might have to help me out here on the front row. Patrice. I'm going to try it. This is, I can't remember. I can't uh, guarantee. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We were the best of friends through thick and thin. Now, I may not be able to get through it because it's pretty funny. <laughs> we were the best of friends through thick and thin. More than just a few bears and tears. We've been overseas. Ellie took a bullet from me. And it had been that way for years It was all for one, one for all Us against the world in a fight A 
Well, he fell in love and pushed come the shove. And I drew the line last night. And you're supposed to say, why? Why? <laughs> He's got a big mouth, white trash girlfriend. <laughs> she talks like a sailor, too. Yeah, she says words I ain't never heard. She got a barbed wire band tattoo. In with her camel cigarettes and toe. Those cut off jeans said, Truck stop queen. And she said, I'm having as a low class hoe. Well, and then she ordered up a jack and then she threw it on back and then she kissed my girl on the lips. Well, they were throwing, they were pulling hair extensions everywhere. story, by the way. Oh, wow. That's worse. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. Right? No, you can't. <laughs> I have a feeling there's a little bit of truth. Yes, there is. Among all the fictions that we tell, there's always a little bit And a truth. deeper truth, right? Okay, well, I just don't have anything like that. Oh, <laughs> Helene, hey, let's give Helene a big hand, by the way. You awesome. don't listen, Helene. You don't want anything I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was on a bus. There was alcohol involved. And I don't want to. All right, you did a song about the ideal woman. <laughs> <laughs> you about the ideal man. Oh yes. <laughs> I got to write this with Mr. Doug Johnson out of Nashville. He oh. wrote Three Wooden Crosses yeah. and a bunch of other yeah. Hall of Fame type songs. Believe it or not, this was his title. I want a man with a pair of hands that are leather strong with a feather touch. Stubborn with heart that's wild and free and hell-bent on protecting me. Living in this outlaw world, it's hard to find anymore. Still I wanna be the girl he take a bullet for. Fast to me.
Alina, as you were singing that song, I was fantasizing that maybe I fit that description, except when you hit that line that says, one who thinks before he talks. Man, I just failed miserably on that. You know? I'm trying, though. I just, I'm trying. I just keep trying. Uh, let's see. At once, all the I mean, this time. Okay. Uh, 20, 20 years. That's almost impossible, isn't it, for me, somebody like me? I don't know what Yes. Well, she's kind of the same way. She doesn't really think either before she says things. That's how I get so many song ideas. It's that very reason right there. All right, so let's see if I can uh, do this song. Now, somebody requested Whiskey Del Bar, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. This is brand spanking new, kind of, because I haven't recorded this yet. I'm still working on it. It's recording right now, isn't it? Yeah. We're making history. <laughs> Like a grass fire in Texas, Southwest July heat. Oh, but there I go again, going on about somebody. Try to light up an old flame, the old bottle of me. But the whiskey don't burn. Like those hot summer nights, love with the young and fast, and it don't get me high. Like holding you tight, feeling your strong last. It's true to my mind, and it warms my heart till I'm halfway back to you. But the whiskey don't burn. 
like we used to. That top roll back, rubber on the road. Good old driving movie, working on that backseat show. Your hand on my knee No place else to be Just an old throwback moment But that's about as far as it goes Cause a whiskey don't burn Like those hot summer nights I love with the other things That it don't get me high like holding you tight The feeling just don't last It'll soothe my mind And it warms my heart Till I'm halfway back to you But the whiskey don't burn babe, Like we The whiskey don't burn Like those hot summer nights But love with the young and fast And it don't get me high Like holding you tight The feeling just don't last It'll soothe my mind And it warms my heart Takes me halfway back to you, but the whiskey don't burn like we used to. But it does burn enough. <laughs> Is that one new? You said? Is that one new? That's yeah. That's fairly new. That. That's a real crossover song because it can be country, but you, I can hear the R and B in it. I mean, there's yeah. a lot oh, of yeah, yeah. places I think that so. can go. Uh, yeah, I had a little bit of Seeger uh, running. Uh, I was channeling a little bit of Bob Seeger when that was going. Especially when he was talking about the drive-in movie and working on that backseat show. I don't think that's a Seeger line, but it could be. Working on that backseat show. Yeah, it was a nice name. Yeah. I still, they still have a drive-in movie just a few They do, I know. Yeah. Right I was thinking about that one. Yeah. I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to dedicate this to anybody who's been married over 20 years. Oh, no. so you're in there, right? <laughs> How old no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say all you old timers. <laughs> His hair's the color of nickels and dimes She's got a face full of lifelines They don't get out and about Too much anymore When he sits down he falls asleep Yeah, he took a nap church last week. <laughs> she nudged his arm when he started to snore. There's so much they need each other for. His love don't fade away or get tired and brittle. They be the first to tell you it grows little by little. Just watch him smile
it's where they've been and makes them who they are. That's the way it is with old sweethearts. But love don't fade away or get tired and brittle. They'd be the first to tell you it grows little by little. Just watch him smile at her. Bye. 
those phone lines overhead make me want to call her. Unfortunately, I have too many of those true stories, too. You know? <laughs> Decongestant. You I'm like, let me have that glass. Okay, thank you. Y'all pass that back to me. Thank you. Oh, do you want room temperature? You mean you sang that pretty and you took a decongestant on top decongest of it? Yeah. Golly, man. Must I be did, nice. It's that time of year. You're struggling, hey. I'm struggling. Um, anyway, it's kind of fun tonight, uh, afternoon, whatever this, whatever time of day this is, um, to do a couple of longer sets because then I get to try out some new stuff and this is a new song um, that I haven't I think I've only played it out one time so that's really a way of asking for mercy too. <laughs> thank you Ray. Good. Thank you. Um, just in terms of having it all work but I got to write this with um, Presley Tucker and Spencer Bartoletti they are in a band called Reverie Lane and another guy joined us that day called his name is Will Duvall and so this was our first write together. That weekend we spent Holed up in a hotel room Hello heartache I'm doing fine But I'd be lying If I said I don't still Think of you from time to time I can't say That I miss you But you ain't easy To forget You've seen me At my worst You've never known me At my best Still 
halfway through the song, so I mean, what am I going to do now? Yodel. <laughs> well, the was, yodel is was, usually there, it's just not that high. I was about to sing harmony with you, and then I heard... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other yes, harmony singer. there it is. I heard a little something, I was going, I was like, who's singing? Okay, <laughs> that's the thing he's talking about. Oh. Oh. Um, I can't remember who first mentioned your name to me, whether it was David Card at Poor David's or if it was oh, yeah, Mary I Jane. David, I can't yeah. remember. Anyway, I feel like we should have been friends a long time ago. Yes, it's, we it's should an honor have to be up here a, on well, stage. I got you. So, anyway, thank you, Randy and Helen, for putting Once you get to know me, you'll take that I'll back. I'll change it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I reserve the right to change yes. the station. You should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do uh, the song that sort of um, gave me faith in songwriting again, in terms of me being a songwriter. Um, I had been in Nashville, I'd been invited to a songwriting workshop. Um, they'd had one in Austin, and there were two of us from the Austin, the one that were invited up to Nashville to be in this sort of um, bigger one that had some very well-known publishers attending, and they called it a search for, um, search for songwriters. But it was really a it was really um, a chance for some of these publishers to get to know people out in the country that aren't all from Nashville. But we all went. I had these great expectations that it was going to be this great time. This is a long time ago. It was like 2003 or four, and I hadn't really done the whole Nashville thing very much. I didn't. I couldn't find my way around. And I don't mean geographically. I mean figuring out the music industry and how it works and how the networking works and how you get your foot in the door. I was still trying to figure all that out. So. Um, to make a long story short, the weekend did not go great. It just I just didn't have the songs that were ready for what they were looking for. And I had a pass to fly home on American, and I decided to leave town early and go see if I could get standby. Um, and I got to the airport, and I never talked to guys in uniform, or I never had, now I do. Never had spoken to a guy in uniform before, but there was this guy standing in line next to me, and I just thought, you know, what's gonna hurt and so I just said hello to him and asked him where he was going and um, he answered and he asked me where I was going and I answered but because I had had a really discouraging weekend instead of saying you know normally when I'm at the airport it says well, where are you going oh, I'm going to Dallas and I didn't say that <clears throat> he said where are you headed and I said I'm going home and I must have had something like that expression on my face. I am um, ashamed to admit. Anyway, he answered me back, and I'm not. I'm gonna let the song tell the rest of the story. But um, I'm really grateful for that trip. I'm grateful for the disappointment. I'm grateful for the hard knocks. I'm grateful for getting my, um, you know what, kicked. And um, because those are all the things that put me in the frame of mind to speak to somebody that I didn't know, and then to hope to be some kind of a, an encouragement to him. But in the end, he ended up being encouragement to me.
plug real quick. I do have these Lucky Me wristbands if you like one camo or it has the lyric, um, they are the brave, we are the free, as well as the song title. And I've got CDs out there along with, Tony's got a bunch. Yeah, well, I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it Just keep going in and making more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, that was great. I love that song. That was yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right, so I have some more requests. So we did we uh, went one more after this for this yes. set, right? Because I'll just keep going on. I mean, <laughs> I think that's what he was doing. He was going back there. Peace, peace. We can't hear you. Yes, he was. He was like landing a plane. All right, this is for Patrice. This is you. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get your request in now. Let's see. It'll take all day to tell you how I'm feeling. Twice that long to make you understand More than just the air that I'm breathing Girl, you're every little, little thing I am You're my bright side when your sweet lips say good morning You're my smile when you call just say hi you're the fire that feeds my passion in the evening. You're my comfort when you whisper in good night. You're all the fill and peace of the good Lord's perfect plan. Girl, you're You're the angel that bears proof there's a heaven And you're proof that I'm one hell of a lucky man Cause where I'd be without you, it's hard to tell it But girl, you're every little thing I You're my bright side when your sweet lips say you're my smile when you call, just say hi. You're the fire that feeds my passion in the evening. You're my comfort when you whisper in good night. Girl, you're all feeling peace for the good Lord's perfect plan. You're 
my comfort when you whisper in good night. You're all the filling pieces of the good Lord's perfect plan. Girl, you're in. confuse her and just wonder why she was laughing during your song. He's talking and smiling and I'm acting like I know what he's saying. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That's what I said about her. Uh, she's talking and smiling. I'll get that okay. again. You know what she's talking about. Just so we're like, doing two more? Yeah, two more. And this, then we're going to take a break for y'all to go and buy all this merchandise. Yeah. And that, but to let you guys know too, we, the next two shows in here, we, our next uh, show is a studio concert, and that is uh, Mr. Ken Gaines and Bud Beerhouse from Houston will be here. It's going to be phenomenal. Ken is one of our annual events, and he's one of the great songwriters that we know. I know you guys both know him too, and he, he's going to bring a guy with him named Bud Beerhouse that I don't know. Bud Beerhouse? I was going to say, is that right? <laughs> That is a great, I want to know that guy. Tony, Tony will be here in the audience. Find Anybody out. named Bud Beerhouse is on my list to go see. Okay, and also, the next radio show, y'all might want to come on that Tuesday night. Mr. Alex Harvey will be here. Oh, yes. And that'll be, uh, that'll be the, the, I think it's awesome. the 15th of this month, and there won't be anything else like it. He wrote Delta Dawn, Reuben James, and on and on and on. So, Bud Beer House. German pronunciation, you know, Beer House. Beer House, okay, okay. Still be the same. I have a feeling still be the same. I wonder if his parents like Budweiser. I have a feeling you like my friend Jeremy Drinkwine. Is that his name? Serious? Yeah. Uh, so awesome. Why together, could yep. I've got a name? We've actually written a bunch of songs together, but everybody's like, is that your real one? Yeah. Drink wine. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, the three people in here that have my CDs, if you have any requests, let me know. Do you have your tuner on tune? Your tuner? Yeah, I do. Thank you. <laughs> I keep doing that. I turn it on the tune and then forget about it. But I'm going to do a song that started out as a list list of all the things that love is like. Send it out to my husband who's up in Plano today and couldn't come down here with me because he's working. But I wrote it for him. Love is like a circle you don't know where it begins. Love is like a tattoo Scrub it off your skin. Love is like a Ferris wheel. Hey, Randy, yeah. can I have a teeny bit more vocal? Love is like a Ferris wheel, making your whole world spin. Yeah, thank you. And love is like the ocean rolling in a wave after. like a preacher looking for a soul to save Second glass of wine, love is 
write that song, that song that you can't get off your mind. Oh, but your love is like, your love is like nothing I ever knew. Maybe your love is like, your love is like nothing I ever knew. Love is like the wind, easy to feel, hard to hold. Love is like a novel, a story waiting to unfold. Love is like a handmade cardboard airport sign. Say welcome home, yeah, welcome home. Oh, but your love is like, your love is like. I could write a lot of songs like that that were happy. <laughs> I think I have two of them. <laughs> All right, this one, who, uh, somebody requested this. This is uh, my newest video release. Yes. Uh, is it? Okay. Let's see if I can remember. This is a real happy song. <laughs> Uh... 
into the sun Never closing in behind for the things I've done Heaven or hell It's my last run Into the sun Into the sun Been rolling like a stone for miles out on this highway. Yeah. Don't you love those happy songs? I kind of just want to leave a crowd with after they've been drinking. <laughs> Make sure they don't have any razors on them. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Probably blew my one happy song too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I should have waited. I know. Warn me. Oh, man. Um, I think I'm going to close this part of the set with... Um, this song, which is a fairly new one too, but um, it's close to my heart. I think I talked about last time I was out here um, that I lost my brother and my mom both in 2015. And spent a lot of time going through people's stuff and sorting and finding. My brother especially, he had a studio over in, um, he was an artist, he had a studio over in the design district and he had drawers and drawers of keys and nobody knew what, what most of these keys went to, but he had a he had an Airstream, and he had a Moto Guzzi motorcycle, and he had, a, I think that's how you say it. Um, it, it would have been easier if he had just had a Harley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then my mom's house, too. I mean, just all these keys my dad shed, and, and just uh, nobody knew what anything went to, and we ended up just throwing tons of them out. But anyway, these girls came in to ride with me one day in Nashville, and they had an idea about keys, but we were talking about piano keys and song keys and keys to a heart and get you know anyway we ended up focusing in on what we wanted the song to be about this one used to hang from my diary by a ribbon I kept all my secrets hidden from mama's pride Here's the one from Grandma's jewelry box, one from Daddy's workshop, the one under the back porch flower pot that we all knew where to find. It might be sitting in a junk pile, lying at the bottom of a dresser drawer, some so old and rusty. I can't remember. So old and 
needs them now. So they're sitting in a junk pile, lying at the bottom of a dresser drawer. Something so old and rusty, I can't remember now what they were for. But some can take me back in time and unlock my memories. So I just can't toss them out. This is going to be a hard one. I know. <laughs> this red desert sand makes me think of the passion you have. Oh, the touch of your hand washing over my skin. And these clouds floating by make me think of you soft in your smile all those heavenly nights i won't see you
Thank you all so much. Thank you. Very Roy Orbison. That was just love it. Very, very yeah. Orbison esque, isn't it? Very yeah. stupid for me to write that. <laughs> now when I sing it, uh, all right. So now we're doing a little breaky, breaky, right? All right. Well, thank you. Do you turn off the Facebook people, or how do you do that? Yes, we do. In fact, they're fixing to go off right now. I'm going to commercial. What, I'm going to leave them on as long as you're on the stage. How about that? Oh, okay. We're, we're well, I've got to go use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> so There's just no so everybody right knows. <laughs> We don't have to take it with us, do we? <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for coming out. I'm gonna use There's more to come. Yes, there is more to come, y'all. Come on back.